So Star Wars Jedi Survivor is now about five months old. Man, time flies. But Jedi Survivor on its launch, unfortunately, did something it seems many big AAA games have been doing lately. Launching broken with horrible performance issues, especially on PC, and then the developers have to make an apology letter for the entire thing. And like, I've played some bad PC releases over the years, but in terms of performance issues, not even a game like Cyberpunk was as poorly optimized on PC as Jedi Survivor was on launch. It was genuinely one of the worst PC launches I've ever experienced, maybe the worst. And if I didn't have a good PC to at least get somewhat okay frame rates, it may have been unplayable. But with all that said, I actually really like this game. In my big review of it, I called it everything a sequel should be, and I stand by that. With the exception of all those horrible performance issues, of course. And in that video, I stated that I felt Jedi Survivor was a really good game, but that you should wait until it gets fixed. Now, I never played this game on console, but from my understanding, it was very rough on there as well. So my recommendation was, if you were interested in the game, wait until they fix it. And well, about four months later, that time has finally come. They released a new patch to the game around two weeks ago that really helped improve to the state of the game and its performance. And so, since I said all those months ago to wait for that inevitable fix, I wanted to go and follow up on that with this video, because now Jedi Survivor can finally be experienced properly for the great game I believe it was underneath that heap of technical problems. Now, to be honest, upon returning to the game, performance still isn't the best. However, it's way, way better than what it was on launch and at least now it's acceptable. Like, realistically, this is the state the game should have launched at, at the very least. I don't really understand why this game has such a hard time getting good performance either. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a good looking game, but I've seen much better looking games run way better than this. If you're looking to get this game on PC, you may still have some trouble with it if you don't have a higher end PC, but it should at least be tolerable now, and not virtually unplayable like it was on launch. The addition of DLSS definitely helps with that, though I do still notice some frame drops in some of the more graphically intensive areas, like the hub on Kobo, for example. Frames still get a bit dicey there, but compared to launch, it's still way better. I will also point out that as I'm making this video, the game is on sale until September 19th on Steam, so if it's a game you've been holding out for, now is probably a good time to finally check it out. Because like I said, I think performance aside, this is a great game. It improved upon its predecessor, Fallen Order, in every meaningful way, especially when it comes to gameplay. There's way more depth to the lightsaber combat, traversal, and platforming. The planets are far more open and expansive, allowing for more exploration. There's significantly more customization. Plus, if you're on PC, there's plenty of cool mods you can get, like the ones I'm rocking for this video. And the story, while with its fair share of flaws, is still incredibly engaging and honestly, one one of the better Star Wars stories you can get out of this modern Disney era of the franchise. Back when this came out, I believed if it weren't for the technical issues, it could have been a Game of the Year candidate. Granted, that was back in April and May, and we've gotten so many great games since then that have a much stronger case for Game of the Year. But still, now that this thing is actually fixed and playable for a lot of people, it can finally be appreciated for the game it was underneath all of that. And even with those issues, it's still one of the most memorable gaming experiences I've had this year, so I think it's worth checking it out for those who are interested. If you're worried your PC may not be able to handle it, then maybe it's worth waiting a little while longer for more patches and optimization, hopefully. But for those who've been eager to play it and held off because of those issues, I think it's now safe to give it a try. And for those on console, you don't really have to worry yourself too much with that. I've seen the game has been majorly improved on there as well. Plus, now the game is even coming to Xbox One and PS4, which is a bit of a strange choice, but hey, at least it'll be more accessible to everybody. The game's also likely to go on sale a lot more often with all those holiday and Black Friday sales coming up, so keep an eye out for those if you're still interested. But if you're someone who has played this game, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments, and if you haven't, let me know if this video was perhaps helpful in your decision on whether or not to finally give it a try. If you enjoyed 
enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and considered subscribing to the channel if you're new. As always, a special thank you to all my members for supporting me. And other than that, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day, everyone.